All right, we're back with sports. One of the things that stood out on the Jackson State football roster this year is not just the number of local and in-state players who are on the team, but how many of them are contributing. You have young players like receiver Isaiah Spencer, B.J. Washington out of Mass Central High School making plays on both sides of the ball. Ridgeland's D.J. Stevens, who leads the team with four touchdowns on the year at the tight end position. Tim Stewart out of Hazelhurst making plays in secondary and Greenville native Isaac Peppers, who leads the team in tackles. And of course, Jacobia Morgan out of Canton High School, who has earned back-to-back -back SWAC Player of the Week honors. T.C. Taylor says there's nothing like homegrown talent at Jackson State. Oh, it puts butt in the seats. <laughs> you know, people want to come see their local talent. And there's some good talent around here, including the entire state. We're going to continue to recruit the state of Mississippi because I know what those players mean to us. And like I said, it sells tickets. But uh, these guys are making an impact on this football team. You know, uh, Isaiah Spencer's. Uh, it's a bunch of guys. B.J. Washington, you know, same with Jacobian. Shoot the kid, 6'4", 220 pounds. They can really sling the football. Them played at his highest level. And he's back at home and playing in front of his home crowd. You know, this Jackson, he grew up in Canton. So I'm excited for him, you know, to be able to come back at home in a city you grew up in and, you know, play right there at Canton High. Those guys are really contributing, and I can't say enough about them. All right, the vet should be filled as JSU has back-to-back -back home games to close out their season. And tonight,